this video is about web hooks and trust me it is really very important for you to know about this both as a full stack developer and as an iot engineer or iot enthusiast as it is really helpful tool and in this video i'll be covering everything about it starting from what is web hooks how it works and we'll be understanding it with the example of a payment gateway and after that we'll be practically using web hooks with the help of pipe dream and i'll be showing you the demo using my razor pay account and by the end of the video i'll be sharing you about my upcoming very interesting iot project where web hooks will play a very important role so just stick around with this video and let's first understand what is web hooks so webhooks is nothing but an http based callback function which is triggered by some event and eventually it sends the data to the destination or the client we can say so that's kind of a definition of webhooks but still i'll explain you this in a much simpler term okay so here is the basic c++ code in which in the setup part i have declared the button as the input and inside the loop what i'm doing is i'm checking if the button is pressed if it is yes, then just call this callback function, which is eventually sending the data to the cloud. A very simple IoT code written in C++. So here, the event is if the button is pressed, then we need to call this callback function. That's how the webhooks works. And the only difference is when the event occurred, it will just call this URL or request this URL along with this payload. Okay, let me explain you once again. So when the event occurred, it will just call this URL, which is provided by the client and all the data will be sent in the payload to the client side. And that's the simplest explanation of what a webhooks is. But the question is where it will be useful. So let me show you the practical use case of webhooks and then we'll also start using webhooks for our own projects. Okay, so now we have another diagram for explaining the practical application of webhooks. So here we have three different things. One is the user, second is the techasms.com which is basically an e-commerce website and third is the Razorpay which is our payment gateway and we are explaining webhooks with respect to the payment gateway only. So what you do is as a user you go on to techasms.com for purchasing your electronic components and by the way you should purchase electronic components and products only from techasms.com to support our work. So, for example, a user is buying uh, something from Techie SMS worth 1000 rupees. Okay, so during the checkout time, you'll select the payment gateway as Razorpay and then techiesms.com will redirect you to the Razorpay website where you'll be getting the QR code and you can scan it to pay the things. Okay, so till this point during the checkout, uh, after the checkout, the task of techiesms is completed. Now it's the task of Razorpay to collect the payment. Okay, now here, what I already did is I already provided the webhooks URL to the Razorpay saying that if the payment is successful, just call this URL and in case the payment is failed call this URL and there can be other more events but I just took example of two events success or failure okay so once you successfully do the payment in razor pay the razor pay will call this webhooks URL which will let techie SMS know that the payment is received and all the data will be stored in the payload of this URL and that's how techiesms.com will come to know uh, how much amount is re received, at what time it is received, what's the order ID, what's the payment ID, every data will be stored in the payment uh, URL payload will be, which will be received by Techie SMS. Now here what's the benefit is I no need to uh, make the connection open until and unless the payment is received okay so connection is not at all open. Secondly I don't need to poll the website like I don't need to ask Razorpay hey did you receive the payment no hey did you receive the payment no so I don't need to poll the website I don't need to make the open connection the connection is closed and the Razorpay will only let me know about the status of the payment either it is successful or failed when that event is occurred so that's the beauty of webhooks and that's the actual implementation or the practical use case of webhooks which is used by almost all the payment gateways i think all the payment gateways i've seen in paytm gateway i've seen in the razor pay gateway and i think it will be in other as well and this is one of the use case of webhooks and there are definitely a lot others now if you're an electronics engineer and if you're watching this and thinking like hey does it make any sense to an embedded engineer or an iot engineer well definitely it will make sense at the end of the video right now it may feel like it's just for the web developers or the front end back end developers but it's not like that i have come up with a very interesting iot application the hardware based application 
which requires web hooks understanding as well so i hope uh, you are clear with what is web hooks how it works and how it is being used in the real life as well and now it's the time to start using web hooks now in our case like i'm not a web developer so i don't know how to create the custom url for our website to read the data and all the stuff so i came up with a very interesting free to use platform that will create a URL for us, a webhook URL for us. So let's go onto the computer and check out that website. So on my computer, first I'll go to pipedream.com. Now pipedream.com is kind of a platform similar to IFTT where we can combine two or more services and pass on the data from one service to another to kind of automating all the things. Okay. So this is kind of same platform. Now the plus point here is we get a custom webhooks URL. So what's the benefit of it? Well, as we're getting the custom webhooks URL, we don't need to have our own website. Even if you have a website and if you don't know how to create a webhooks URL just like me, well, this platform can be really very useful. Okay. And this is available for free of cost as well. Not all the things you can do for free. It has its own pricing structure, as you can see. So in the free platform, in the free version, we can create three active workflows. So creating an automating automatic task like they are transferring data from one service to another called as a workflow in this website. So we can create up to three workflows, which is good enough for our project. Okay. So for quickly, uh, let's just make an account and sign in into the pipe dream. So I'll sign in with my Google account only. So here is my account. I already have two active workflows. One is for razor pen, other for Paytm. but in your case, it will be blank completely. So let's just create a new project and let's just give this project a name as test web hooks. Click on create project. And we have successfully created a project. Now I'll click on new and click on workflow. I'll again name it as test webhook workflow. As I said, connecting all the services with one another is termed as a workflow here. So this is a workflow. And as you can see, first it is asking for a trigger similar to IFTT. So basically we need a trigger event to do all our rest of the work. Okay. So in this case, the trigger event will be the webhooks request. So I'll click on this webhooks request and it has successfully created a trigger. Now I can click on the plus icon and later on I can connect one or two services. I can search for all the services here and I can connect it, but I will leave it as of now. I'll delete this step and let's keep it as this step only for the first episode. So we have successfully created a trigger and I will click on save and continue. And as you can see, we got our custom unique URL a webhooks URL, which we can provide to other applications. Okay. Now after creating this URL, you just need to click on the deploy to deploy your workflow. And we have successfully deployed uh, with this. We have successfully created the webhooks and this, this we are done with the pipe dream. Now we need to provide this webhooks URL to other platforms. So for this example, what I'll do is I'll open up my, uh, razor pay account now I already have a razor pay business account through which i accept the payment from my website so i'll directly log in with this if you don't have a uh, razor pay if you have other uh, payment gateways like paytm well it will also work great so here is my razor pay dashboard now what we need to do here is we need to search for webhooks into the payment gateway in different different platform the option will be in different different menus so you need to explore that complete payment gateway in razor pay you can go to account and settings and here you will find as webhooks under website and app settings so i'll click on webhooks and here i'll click on add new webhook now, as you can see, we need to provide a webhook URL. So I'll copy this URL given by pipe dream and I'll simply paste it here. Now it is asking for the events. Now, as I said, webhooks uh, will be called based upon a particular event and that event we need to select. So we can select the events like the payment event, like if the payment is authorized, means successful payment, if the payment is failed, payment capture, and there are a lot of different kinds of events. So it's up to you, like based upon which event you want to trigger. In my case, I want to trigger for all the payment event, whether it is captured, failed or processed or authorized any of the payment event. I want to call this webhooks. Click on create webhooks and webhooks is successfully created. And with this, we are done with both the platform, like creating the webhooks URL in pipe dream and attaching the webhooks URL into a payment gateway. For example, razor pay. Now let's just test it out. Like how all these things work. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll do a payment on my razor pay account. So I'll open the QR code. Okay. So here's my razor pay QR code. I'll scan it with my uh, mobile application. I'll transfer the amount of rupees one INR. So I'll quickly pay it and let's go to the workflow. Okay. Amount is paid. 
And as you can see on the left window, we got the HTTP POST request and this is from the Razorpay. So the amount is successfully paid from my mobile application. And here now I can click on this request and I can see all the data, all the data about this payment. Let me show you. So here is the complete HTTP request. And here if I go to the body, and here, as you can see, payment captured. So this is a successful payment. Here, if I go to payload, then payment, then entity, as you can see, I got the amount as 100. So the amount is 1.00, that means one rupees. If I paid 10 rupees, it will it will show 1000, that's thousand. So that's kind of a way Razor Pay shows the amount. In different payment gateway, the way of showing the amount is different. So yeah, we got the rupees one. The currency is in INR. It was paid through QR code. Okay. And we got more details like it is paid via UPI. So complete information about the payment is received here with the help of webhooks. And that was the agenda of today receiving the data via webhooks through our payment gateway. And now comes the interesting part. As I said in the beginning, I'm working on a really interesting IoT based project where webhooks will be really helpful. And I think most of you already guessed it. So it's related to the payment gateway. Yes. So I'm working on two or three different kind of projects where I can capture the data, the payment data from my website or a QR code, maybe displayed on an OLED screen in real time, maybe print out its uh, payment sleep through a thermal printer. And finally, in the end, I want to make my own payment sound box, just like Paytm and PhonePay and Google Pay sound box are available in the market. Now, those who are following me must already know that I already made similar payment sound box in like in the past in one of my video, but that was not the, you know, what you can say reliable solution because that was working based upon the SMS. Okay. And SMS kind of received late as well may not receive. Okay. So SMS is not a reliable solution to capture the payment details. But Webhox is completely reliable. It instantaneous, it is fast. And not only I get the data of successful payment, but I get the data of failures as well, like payment failures, all the data I'll be getting. So this will be a very reliable, very fast, compact payment uh, sound box that I'll be making during the like part of this series. So if you are excited with all this payment related IOT projects, well, just type out excited in the comment section and I want to see how many of you really want to see all this project. Just type out excited, excited, excited down the comment section. And yeah, that was it about the web hooks uh, and pipe dream. I hope you liked it. I hope you got to learn something new from it. If it's so, a like will be really appreciated and yeah, that being said, and I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my upcoming videos until then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.